when the time is ready, the wedding is going to be smaller. Mm. So, so that's, that's that's our prediction. Yeah. That's my prediction. That's why that's why when you say this project is probably le- relevant, mm. it's going to be tough to have a psychological to bring a lot of people. That's right. So the challenge is going to be two. One's going to be smaller wedding like mm. this. It's mm. like only 20 people, mm. less than that maybe. Om Swastiastu, welcome to the new episode of Watch It Together. Watch It Together. <laughs> you it means me that there. we watch this video together. Yes. The video that we haven't seen, mm. like we shot it long time ago or maybe recently. This one like two years ago. Almost, almost. Yeah, two yeah. years ago and we haven't watched it mm. and it's time for us to watch it together. Yes. And it happens to be quite a probably appropriate topic as well, appropriate oh, subject. Is, yeah. um, when we did this uh, project together with Design Mill and Royal Santrian, it was about an intimate destination wedding. And yeah, I mean, um, we thought it might be suitable to the current situation or, you know, whatever the trend is predicted in the future so yeah so you know you know how um i think before that is mm. that okay if i interrupt sure. with that so let me introduce this one first i mean this is like uh, the meeting between design mill the decorator mm-hmm. and royal santrian is the private resort uh, villa yes it's in nusa dua what they're doing is they they welcoming they inviting us to shoot uh, the behind the scene, mm. the intimate wedding, mm. the only 12, know, 12, 12 or 6, uh, 20 people only, yeah, which is 20. a very intimate. Mm. And we just shoot it like as if, um, yeah, you know, the behind the scene of they, what they're doing and the mm. meeting, the site visit, yeah. and also how, how it's the decoration is actually helped for everyone having a good time yes that's right that's right and again that's what you said before that this project might be relevant relevant yeah. to the current situation where people at the moment worry yes. to come to wedding, uh, come to bali for wedding yes that's right i um, think we heard that everyone is postponed to mid 2021 yes uh, most of the time i mean they are hopeful that by this august they can come back but we can see the trend now. Now we are entering almost June and they are rescheduling to next year. Just to be safe, I think. Just to yeah. be safe. And you know, you know how um, we, we, we see a lot of people or vendors talking about what's going to happen to the Bali wedding industry, right? Yeah, you know, it's been buzzing around IG Live. A lot of things are um, happening and so... So basically they... they they got no job and they they worry a lot yes. but this in the way they're coming w- waiting for something to get better yes, later on like comforting each other comforting that each things, other things will get better that's why soon, the, they, yeah. they do a lot of ig life yes. so they talk each other and you know sharing their thought and things like that yes which is good their right thoughts. yeah yeah i mean is what um, we need that stay positive yeah i mean it's it's one way of uh the time I guess um, creating content and then letting so, people know so if you bride better. and groom thinking about uh, waiting in Bali please come back they worry <laughs> they, they want to have something make sure making sure that they, there'll be a wedding more in, in the when yes, everything's safe right definitely definitely um yeah I'll, I'll talk to you about that but yesterday I had a video call um, you did? Okay. with 
couples in Gold Coast. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Yes, for um, Aichus Bali. For Aichus Bali. So Correct. that's what we do to fill uh, the time and to really um, trying to think of something. Yeah. Uh, to promote Bali, especially yeah. wedding industry, since we come from wedding background. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the the couple was saying that. You know, they were saying. Sorry, before that, mm. maybe we, we need to tell them what I choose Bali first because they completely ah, yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. doing. So, so I mean, backstory is we retiring from wedding photography and videography. We we run the this channel, Wedding That Matters, mm. because we thought that we have a 16 years experience. We thought we want to help yeah. uh, bride and groom yes. to know what's the 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 what, what do you call it the the message that people doesn't know that we want to tell. You how to design the wedding better, yes, better. Uh, by, from the memory base yes. point of view. Yes. And what we're doing so far right now is we using our storytelling skill that we learn from as a, a wedding photography mm. and phot photographer for for 16 years, yes. and we put that experience and skill into the new campaign, campaign called yeah. I Choose Bali. I Choose Bali. So yes. I Choose Bali. It's more like a story, people. The, move to Bali, yeah, real uh, stories, live to Bali. Real, real stories from people in Bali exactly. and why they choose to to be here either for work, for holiday, to live, you yes. know. And now we expand to the wedding. Yeah. I recently, Bali for recently wedding. we thought that we want to help people for, for uh, you know, <laughs> wedding. A lot of people come for Bali for wedding too. That's so that's right. why we, what about we do expanding to Achus Bali for yes, wedding. that's right. So, people know how awesome it is. Um, mm. But listening it from the real stories of the real couple, you yeah. know, instead of just looking at um, yeah. Instagram or blogs or, you know. Yeah, so a different take, I, I suppose. A different take to yeah. what people, no people normally see. So, so, if you know someone that married in Bali, and had Ilona, a good experience, yes. Ilona, or oh, good experience, yes. <laughs> not bad experience. Yes. Good experience. Come and talk to me. <laughs> I would love, definitely loved hearing the stories. And I had such a good time talking yes. to uh, some yesterday. couples. Yeah, and yesterday the couple was saying that they're definitely the biggest advocate for having a wedding wow, in Bali. They that's are a saying. Lot. Just do it. Don't think about it. They couldn't complain. They're, they they are saying that. Who are they? they are they they're Indonesians? From, no, they are from England. England, but okay. they lived in Australia now, okay. and they were saying that there's nothing that the there's nothing that could be done more. You know, that's how good it was. Wow. And that's a yeah. That's a compliment. And the groom was saying, from what he's hearing, people who planned their wedding in Bali decided to reschedule it instead of cancelling it altogether and he said because of this corona yes and okay. he said it's a good thing it's i think it's encouraging because yeah. he he was saying that you know for something that good like having that wedding experience bali wedding yeah. do it even though you have to reschedule it two years yeah in the future wow so i said i thought wow that's that's <laughs> how i mean that's just mind-blowing <laughs> so what what it's saying is, don't get married in until next year. Yes, I mean, <laughs> just just make it happen uh, yeah. that your Bali wedding. That's what he's basically saying because he was so happy with the whole experience. That's know? good. That's good. That's yeah. what we wanna we wanna get right because yes. I think obviously you have a really great uh, response that people actually without no doubt say yes, yes when yes. you approach them and mm. and they say, oh yeah, I love. Bali, my wedding, and they want to talk about it. Yes. Um, but let's talk about you know per some prediction. You know, mm. we we've been talking about this and we we discussed yeah. this it's, and yeah, our take on our this. Our take on this one. So <laughs> as a retired yeah. <laughs> wedding well, vendors. I mean, to be honest, I mean I wrote a book about Bali. Uh, Joe, would you mind picking up the book, my uncover book somewhere? Yes. I wrote a book about Bali weddings mm. uh, two years ago, right? Yes. It's for me. I've sh we've shot in many different countries. Mm. Like I mean, our job is more like a destination wedding job, right? That's right. Yes. And um, we we thought that Bali is we don't know doubt mm. is the best yes. destination place. Yes. What I mean by destination is 
They don't live here. They come here for weddings. Yes. And they bring all the guests for weddings. That's right. That's right. Excellent. So Thank this you. is my book. Right? So pretty girls. Yeah. So what I tell about the book here which I don't know this is this is the structure way mm. obviously the response the testimonial from mm. the the real couple mm. that's more meaningful than what I wrote here uh, but I think it, it's really um, whatever em is saying. emphasizing exactly what we whatever. already okay. analyzed sure. why Bali is so good um, you know for destination where what are they maybe tell them um, first of all those couples that I spoke to, they are all saying that they have this idea of not having just a one-day wedding. Sure. They want to bring everybody together because their guests coming from more than one country, right. not just from Australia, for example. Right. So and yeah. So number one is it's sort of like a family a reunion. reunion. Yes, a so reunion. Like yes. You have a guest mm. like all around the the world. Mm. And you feel that, oh, I want to have this person coming to my wedding. That's right. And if they come to your wedding in, in the city, mm. they feel that they don't have the yeah. holiday. And over here, it's yes. holiday already. Yes. They, so they have holiday together. Yes. And like more, more than one day, did you say? That's right. Yeah. And they, they, they don't want, they really want to have the full experience. And by having everybody in a destination place like Bali, they could have a quality time together. Sure. They don't feel like they didn't spend enough time in the wedding to chat sure. with each of their guests, yep. which is a really great um, thing to say. Yeah. And also uh, being, uh, they, and also one couple also said that because once they touch down in Bali, they feel this such a great atmosphere, wow. experience, yes. and that's what they want their guests to feel the same way. And they, they really succeed in that because yeah. all of their guests, even though they haven't been to Bali, they were saying that they will definitely come back yeah. and they had such a good time. That's something that I cannot write in this book. You have to experience it yourself. Yes. <laughs> because the mood, you know, yeah. like when they land it, they feel it, and they're ready, they're excited. Yes, right? that's right. Okay. Yeah. And, and what else? And uh, yeah, I mean, this one also too. I mean, this is the thing that I write here too. Mm. Is in the first chapter is one of them is because it's world-class facility. Facility, yes. you know, like, uh, and the uh, experience vendor too. Because I think th those two, I think mean, there's, there's, there's so many places in the world that mm. has beautiful places. Yes. More beautiful than Bali. Mm. But the problem is if they don't have the experience vendor yes. and they don't have the world-class resort or World class they might have, uh, facility but, yeah. that the problem is that if the vendor is seems like they don't know what they're doing and we mm. have to teach them what to do, things like that. Mm. Over here, everyone's here, like they do, like week in, week out. Yes, like every day is a wedding day. That's right. Yeah, so They're very, very experienced, very experienced. Um, vendors. And yeah, we, we know Miss May, she's a really great. Um, Wedding coordinator from Royal awesome. Santrian. Yeah, yeah and, Royal Santrian. Um, we love the wedding over there. Yes. Um, what more can be said? I mean, I think um, so. It's just down to the couple's personal preference yes. on what they so want to So please, have. please, please come back to Bali. If you book the wedding Bali, don't cancel it. Just yeah. postpone it. Just postpone it. Because we guarantee. <laughs> okay, let's talk about prediction. Because yes. my prediction is. Bali at the moment easily is the first place in terms of the tropical destination places mm. in the world in, at the moment. Yeah, or in Southeast Asia. In Southeast Asia, I'm, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't. Cons I think compared to like Mexico or something like that, I think still Bali is in terms mm. of the number of the wedding. It's still the the the, the most. Yeah. It's got all those factors that yeah, yeah, really I mean, make. A wedding is so easily organized. Or easily organized. And, Only yeah. like 30 minutes from the airport yes. and you can feel that it's actually outside from the busyness and you feel right, yeah. come to the, like, the resort or come to like the villa. Like another world already. It's like yeah. another world already. Even though it's only 30 minutes. Yeah, it's yeah. only 30 minutes. So that's the beauty about it. Mm. Yeah, anyway, so my prediction about this, Bali's got to be having a hard time mm. uh, competing with a different other destination waiting other different places yes and they 
that's why that's why we run the Achus Bali for weddings because we feel that people need to be excited, you mm. know, uh, about the wedding. So because Bali is, is awesome, yes. you know, uh, and but that's why we we want to get more people to come to wedding to Bali and they feel. They they want to come there and so telling people that still Bali is still safe to come yes. and Bali it's awesome to be it right yes and but at the moment I think it's gonna be tough because the wedding is gonna be smaller yes because people are worried to have when the time is ready the wedding is gonna be smaller mm. so, so that's, that's that's our prediction yeah that's my prediction that's why that's why when you say this project is probably le- relevant mm. because we expecting. Maybe you get married already. Yeah, you get married in, first in your country, your mm. city, right? Mm. Like right now. Mm. Yes. Right, you but can. you don't call that your wedding, your dream wedding, mm. because you feel that one you won't have get it in outdoor, which a nice sunset and mm. beautiful setting yes. and things like that. That's my pr- my prediction. Mm. Bali still gonna be having a tough time because people deciding they have a different priority. Hello, Maybe. say hello to camera. Yes, and we we also think that and sorry, mm-hmm. let me finish this, mm-hmm. uh, but but that's reason why they 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 probably get married in the city first, mm. and they want to have, but they want to consider. All right, this is my marriage wedding day, but that's not the wedding they want to to be remembered. Yeah. Maybe they just write the uh, write the just for the sign for the paper yeah. things like for that, registry, you know, yeah. registration. But they move to Bali later on, like a year time, to actual. Wedding mm. reception. Okay, but it's gonna be tough to have a psychological to bring a lot of people. That's right. So the challenge is gonna be two. One's gonna be smaller wedding like mm. this. It's mm. like only 20 people, mm. less than that maybe. Less than the that. second one, it's gonna be like the, the the other challenge is the they probably just making a decision only in a short time, maybe like mm. 30 days, right. only one month or two months yeah. uh, how planning. About, yeah, how about? 30 days waiting. <laughs> It's something like that. So that's that's my prediction. Mm. What's going to happen? That's why this project it's awesome. Mm. So people can see it like maybe they don't know whether it's possible. That, that's right. Or it's to have the wedding. Yeah. It's like in the on beach like mm. this on the beach like very very intimate. Very intimate. 12 people you can definitely have a quality time spending great time with each of your guests. On the night, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and you can have this awesome beautiful, decoration yeah. with a beautiful settings like this. That's right. Yeah. Right. So, so, so this is awesome. Mm. So, so consider that, please. So we when this thing, the thing that that people call elopement. Elopement, yes. Right. So, see. Um, so, so making sure that you know, maybe you can tell a little bit, but. What's the elopement? It's about maybe maybe for a couple because m- most people who plan for the wedding normally is the first time. Yes. So maybe you can tell a little bit about what it means by elopement. Well, elopement usually involves just the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Usually, yeah. usually, like running away, just <laughs> the two of them, like Las Vegas, <laughs> <laughs> things like that. Yeah. That's but, the best way illustration. Uh, <laughs> Las Vegas. Let's yes, get married. Yes, but um, we can call this. Elopement as well because sure. um, of course it doesn't involve the usual number of guests. Normally minimum 50, 50 because people, it's really hard people. to cut down. For local people, maybe go to 100, 200 100, people. Yeah, you know it's really hard to cut down yeah. the people that are special and closest friends to you. Sure. Less than 50, it's yeah. really hard. Yeah. Less than 30, it's really hard. So, yeah. Yeah. but I would consider this um, elopement um, and. Yeah, because uh, it's it's very minimal number of guests, and definitely easier to organize. Yeah, you know, uh, it's it's pretty scary when, when you have 100, 200, 200 guests and everything is cancelled or rescheduled like the yeah. corona yeah. when this situation happens. So, yeah, yeah defi- definitely this is not as um, how do you call it 
not as difficult. Yeah, not as difficult. Yeah, not as not like as challenging. Like, yeah, it's not planning like the big wedding kind of thing. Yeah. but you still have a beautiful, memorable. That's right. Memorable it's, it's experience. It's very, very feasible to do it's this. Feasible. You know, um, yes. with the support of the vendors. Yes. In 30 days, I'm pretty sure they can organize something it's that pain is very. Free. It's free. Yeah. Break the bandage. Pain free. It's, it's easy. Stress free. And you can have yeah. you can have these beautiful settings and yeah. and you know like. You, you don't know, have to stress about overboard. things like six months or one year in advance. Yeah. And and my take is that you can always uh, flip it as well. Do the elopement first and the big weddings later. So, there you go. Yeah. So, or if, if time allows and you think that it's, it's better to sign the registry, have the big party now in your hometown, then you can do the elopement later. It doesn't matter. But yes. the thing is you can have this elopement as the real wedding day or the, the memory that you really want to have. Yes. Yeah, so. so, I think we're running out of time right now. So, I think the idea of elopement, something that you need to consider, let's get married in Bali mm. because Bali is too awesome. Don't you think, my princess? You want to get married in Bali? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, what's important is to get in, married in Bali is uh, don't be afraid. Yeah. yeah. So, just have a look right now. You have one. I would predict the weddings come back in 2021. Months, yeah. So if you're thinking you want to get married in Bali, let's give a hint to your boyfriend or something like that. You know, uh, start sending some pictures about beautiful Bali yeah. and things like that. Then, and yeah, Bali definitely ready to welcome all brides and grooms yeah. to have a really special and memorable day here. So, thank you so much. This is that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Say bye bye. 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 And at the first light, there you are, staring back at me with a heart so free. And I just wanna be. Decoration will play a crucial part in a destination wedding um, and it's, we will be looking for the details. I mean like all wedding can be you know glam and very full but the idea of this intimate destination wedding is where the bride and groom are really close with everyone and they, are, they really take care of all the guests and that's why something personalized is the keywords in, the, in this destination intimate wedding idea. Having like a canopy or a tent, a small tent for all the guests. Everyone will mingle under the tent and have a dinner under that tent as well. And at the same time, I think it's important to not have, you know, we can have a very pretty flowers but not too high as well since everyone will be uh, mingling, chit-chatting with each other during the dinner and there will be no bridal table as well because for this intimate wedding togetherness is the as well so everyone should enjoy lighting will also play a big part a warm ambience will really light up the mood so for everyone feel the togetherness of family close friends and it's also very important to have landscape as the background since this is destination wedding everyone come you know to celebrate the wedding and we all just want to enjoy the best landscape from the destination city. So all the guests will be enjoying, you know, the morning breeze, the afternoon sunsets, and then also the night breeze together. And of course, it will be even more special since they're enjoying it in a wedding settings. You know, this can happen in cliffside, in beach, and also in a garden. I think Bali is very rich of uh, those venues that can provide a very nice landscape as a background as well for to light up the ambience of intimate wedding. Destination wedding ini, menurut saya, uh, 
hal yang sangat unik dan menarik ya. Karena biasanya kalau destination wedding itu mereka mengundang teman-teman mungkin jauh ya dari negara tertentu, bisa lebih quality time meal lebih banyak dengan mereka. Intinya mereka punya memorable uh, experience nantinya buat si couple itu sendiri.